And so here it is, digital portfolio management. It's scoped out in our next experience, UI UX, and this is gonna be our first of four demos. Before I get started in this demo, let me go ahead and just set a little background. So as we know, IT departments, they're growing. They're becoming more ubiquitous to everyday operations of the enterprise. And it's becoming increasingly difficult to manage and measure the benefits and value around these applications and the services that are being delivered. As you know, work is often siloed into different teams and that data, it's dispersed across many systems of record, even spreadsheets. And this makes it nearly impossible to gain a holistic view of operational performance and business impact to the services that you are providing, your team's providing, or the company is providing. Now, our answer is here, digital portfolio management. And our target persona for this is anyone who owns a solution, service offerings, business applications, services, any other products. And as a solution owner, DPM enables you to have a single view, single full life cycle view that you see here to really help you determine the overall health and performance of the solutions that you own, your team owns, or the solutions that the company relies on. And what we're looking at is the enterprise portfolio view. So we can view these enterprise portfolios that are being shared with us. We can see all the items, including changes, critical incident, what needs attention, right? And you cannot alter these enterprise portfolios like you can in the personal portfolios that we'll see later, but this offers you insight into the overall IT structure in the context of the services that you own. So for instance, we can see the availability around our portfolio performance, the 900 incidents around that, taxonomy nodes, really highlighting the common services data model. And in taxonomy modes, we can see taxonomy layers, the parent applications, short descriptions, even who it's owned by. In the services tab, we're given information around the taxonomy node, service classification, what phase it's in, status, business criticality, who it's owned by. We can see what attention is needed around these particular services. I mentioned personal portfolios. So let's go back to our home tab. And this is Jose Hamilton's personal home page. Now we can see here what needs attention, any changes, any outages, any audits that are in flight around this uh, particular business service, any risks, all of that information is presented in a holistic view, as well as the personal portfolios and the enterprise portfolio. Speaking of personal portfolios, we have a personal portfolios tab. And in this personal portfolio tab, I can manage services and applications in one unified workspace. I can manage those roadmaps. I can prioritize backlogs. I can promote new ideas. I can even share this information maybe with new team members, a boss, key stakeholders. I can give them editorial access, write access. And as I click into this personal portfolio, we can see that there's 19 different business services, business offerings, business applications that can make up one of these portfolios. I even have access into descriptions, general information, who I can collaborate with over this particular information. As I click into one of the business services, this is where the rubber hits the road. Everything is broken up into a plan, build, run, info type workspace. And we can see the summary, the total ideas, the approved demands, when projects start, any new initiatives. In the top right corner, we can even edit this business service in ServiceNow's Service Builder. And what is it? It's basically a business service wizard giving you best practices to better define your business service. Heading back to Digital Portfolio Management Portfolio, I can go ahead and create demands, improvement initiatives around this particular service. As I click into the Build tab, I can see active projects by current status, what's green, what's yellow, what's red. We've also listened to you around changes. We've, we know that changes tend to be the biggest cause of disruption. So all the information around change management is built into this workspace. As I jump into the run tab, service performance is also key for making those budgetary decisions. We can see the availability of the service, how many instants around it, total number of subscriber, as well as CSAT scores. As I go into the scores, I can see foundational subservices that help make up what's going on here. I can even drill into that particular information and I get that same plan, build, run information around this subservice. 
Going back to our main business service, I click into that info tab and I can see service descriptions, the general information, service scope around that, even possible business cases or service contracts that belong to this particular service. Again, empowering me, the service owner, with all the information I need. I can also share this information with collaborators, team members, via MS Teams or the, the chat functionality of the team's choice. As I go back to the plan tab, many of you are familiar with ITBM. If I go into the view roadmap, we now have alignment workspace as part of the DPM experience. And as a service owner, I can see the roadmap details. I can create new milestones, new big rock items. I can turn on tracking mode. I can see what's in red, what's in yellow, what's in flight. I can even personalize the look and feel of this. And this is digital portfolio management in a nutshell. So again, really giving service owners a way to optimize their personal portfolio performance, really optimizing the services, the applications in one unified workspace.